Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Let's first shuffle the deck four times for you and then let's begin. So first let's see what are the current energies. Let's see one more card. Either there was a recent reunion or there's this desire and need to reunite and talk and have a conversation because wanting to save a marriage that was in the past or if you were not married wanting to build a, conne a connection like that wanting to lead this relationship to the next step what is affecting you in your subconscious the dramas that were present there consistently and the connection being full of disagreements and arguments what happened in the past? What was the challenge? Not a very mature partner in love and... Uh, I'm getting also the feelings were not that strong from one partner. I have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Problems with stability, problems with being vulnerable towards the feelings and expressing those emotions, not keeping those emotions to oneself, but telling, expressing those feelings and not being quite sure about commitment. Somebody was fearing to move this relationship to the next step. Now, how do you view the connection with them? You see the connection being broken, shattered in many pieces and you have fear that it will stand still for more time. You fear it will not be stable uh, too long if it was a restart. You are choosing to, to trust more your, uh, your logical mind than the feelings. You're taking more a logical approach towards this uh, connection. You have been hurt there deeply and uh, that's what you want to avoid being hurt again. Three of Swords and the King of Swords. It was a painful ending. There were tears and pain, a painful memory. That's why you're being too logical here because you want to protect your heart uh, at the same time from a repeated pattern from that connection. Now let's see about them. What are their energies right now towards you? First of all, this person just waits and is not very proactive, not willing to take action first, even though they have this desire to reconnect with you in order to make peace. But what I don't like here is that I have the liar card or the devil, uh, the temperance and the eight of pentacles. They may want to tell you that they are willing to work harder on this connection and put uh, or make a compromise uh, there for for the connection, but uh, don't uh, don't rush into believing their words immediately. Trust your intuition, your experience uh, regarding this past, uh, about what happened in the past. So use common sense here it is it is not easy to have a healthy connection with them you'd like to reunite that's for sure 
You may have had feelings and hoping big for stability, but you got hurt from them and now you see a not so solid connection and you don't like the dramas and you are protecting your hearts your heart you're protecting your heart from being hurt again by them. That's why you're being logical. So this was like a summary, but I'm getting them wanting to make peace with you in the end, but they may have not changed that much. I will continue this reading now in the extended uh, with more details about their feelings. Let's see if they do have feelings or what, what about their feelings towards you, how do they view you, uh, what are their intentions, what are the energies around them, around you, the mutual energies as well. If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below this video. If you are watching this from your mobile phone, you can just click the title, the description box will expand and there you can find the extended link. Thank you for watching, see you in the next reading and bye for now.